Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is crashing on this screen that is compiling shaders. So if the game is crashing over here, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab in the launch option, type in dash DX11, and then you can close this now you can launch the game and then check still not working then this time you can type in dash d3 d11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now if you have the game on ea app in that case i don't have the game on ea app if you have the game on ea app click on the go to library and then you can go to i'm showing you a different game this is just an example so you can go to view properties and over here you can see advanced launch options so over here you can type in dash dx11 and then you can save it launch the game and then check if that does not work you can type in dash dx12 and then you can save it launch the game and then check still not working if you are receiving any kind of error message remove this save it and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users uh, can go to amd website first of all uninstall the current version current graphic card driver then restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings now over here click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed to in c drive you can open c drive if you have the game on e app open program files and then open ea games you will find the game over here and then open the game folder select the game exe file i have the game on steam so open program file 686 now open the steam folder steam apps folder common folder open the game folder and then split folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added now you can scroll down and find the game in the list now once you find the game in the list you have to click on the game and then over here you can see gpu preference now select high performance nvidia processor or amd sorry nvidia graphic card or amd graphic card so in my you will see high performance and you will see your graphic card select your graphic card now you can launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files now open the split folder binaries win64 first of all try to launch the game from here so make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working again go to properties go to this tab this time select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check 
Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK. Follow the next step. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11 in Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So open the game folder and then open select the game exe file and then click on open now type in control panel in Windows search box and then open control panel go to system and security Windows Defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse and then again open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added so once you have the game added to the firewall so here you can see the game is added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files this is important so go to steam if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check if you have the game on ea app you can go to library and then Click on the game. I don't, have, I don't have the game. I'm showing you a different game. Go to view properties. Oh, click on repair. Just click on repair and then you can launch the game. Now the next step is to delete the settings file. Now for this, you can open file explorer in computer and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, open the local folder and then open find split fiction folder, open this folder and over here you can see uh, these settings, local settings and then settings split. You can create a backup first. So just copy it and then maybe paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup, now you can delete these two folders. So make a right click and then you can delete it once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check still not working then rename or delete the save game files now before you rename or delete the save game files create a backup first because when you delete when you rename or delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can go to the same location this location go back here you can see split fiction in this location now make a right click on the game apps and then game folder and then copy this folder and then paste it to the desktop once you have a backup over here now you can rename it make a right click and then rename or you can even delete it so just rename it now once you rename it now you can launch the game you can even delete this folder and launch the game but you will lose all the game progress but you already have a backup so no need to worry now the next step is to install visual c plus plus file so for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser over here you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download these x86 and x64 so click on x86 file over here and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install button click on install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed you can close these windows and then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game make sure that you update the windows to the latest version now i you can check winver and then click on winver over here in my case the 
right now the latest is version 24H2. So update your Windows to version 24H2 and then launch the game. Next step is to AMD users can install this AMD optional update. So you can in Google you can search it for AMD 25.2.1 optional update and then go to AMD website only and then scroll down and over here you will see AMD optional update click on it and once the download is complete you can click on this exe file install it restart your computer and then launch the game if that does not work you can even try this AMD 25.1.1 optional update now again in Google you can search this update and then go to AMD website and then scroll down over here you will see this optional update click on it and then once this is downloaded you can click on this file restart your computer install it restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to try debug mode in nvidia control panel for this you can go to desktop make a right click select show more option nvidia control panel and then at the top left over here you will see the help option click on help and then select debug mode so try debug mode over here and then launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to close all the overclocking application so if you have msr afterburner running or if you have reva tuner running so if you are running or if you are running any overclocking application you can just close it so sometimes it's hidden over here so here you can see msi afterburner make a right click close it if you have reva tuner running make a right click close it or if you have any other overclocking application close it also if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to uh, general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if you have the game on EA app in that case uh, you can go to settings i think settings and then maybe application in game overlay so you can turn this off turn off and then launch the game now all or you can simply close all the overlay application if you have discord running you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have geforce experience or if you have nvidia app running you can just go to settings over here and turn off this nvidia overlay and then launch the game or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have razor software application running close it now the next step is to try automatically paging file now for this you can type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then go to view advanced system settings click on the first settings go to advanced tab click on change over here put a check on automatically manage paging file size for all drives and then click on ok ok and then you can restart your computer and then launch the game if that does not work again you can type in view advanced system settings and this time you can go to the first settings advanced change uncheck this box select the drive where the game is installed and then over here put a check on system manage size and then click on set ok it will be asking you to restart your computer so make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart click on restart now launch the game and then check i'm not restarting right now now still you are facing the problem then increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB so and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on OK and over here uh, it's 16 
1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576, 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024, I have converted this in megabyte, megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3, that is 49152, 49152, 491152. 1. Now click on set over here, then click on OK, OK, apply, OK, OK. Now restart computer, make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected when you update the system BIOS. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter which you're not using, disconnect it. Also disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, the USB dongle connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor and then check. Also, if you have any third party application or software running, close it and then launch the game. Next step is to, you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game. But if you are able to launch the game, you can try window mode, lower down resolution and the graphics settings. Now, if you are able to launch the game, you can launch the game. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to options and then you can go to graphics option over here. And over here, you can select window mode and then apply settings keep display settings and over here um, resolution you will see if the resolution is set to like 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more so over here you can see uh, if you select full screen over here apply settings and then you can change the uh, resolution like if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can even lower down more and then you can switch to full screen now and then apply settings keep display setting now upscaling in my case now if here you can see emd fsr so in my case i have selected this uh, temporal one or you can even turn this off and then HDR you can disable the HDR and then check now over here you can see all the quality over here now if this is set to ultra you can try high you can even go for medium or low quality now I will set it to medium everything to medium and then now you can check the performance now if nothing is nothing is working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so you can simply uninstall the game after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel